Yorkshire Pudding Beer from the People's Republic of Yorkshire. Welcome to another edition of Banged Bikes and Booze Reviews. First of all, disclaimer. There will be a lot of northern accents in this video, done by moi. If I want a cheeky monkey, I'm going to cheeky monkey's arrows. And if you're of a nervous or a northern disposition, oh, uh, here he goes. turn away now, because this may not be for you. I don't think I have ever come across a beer that's more fucking Yorkshire than Yorkshire pudding fucking beer. This has got approval from Jeff Boycott, Sean Bean, Fred Truman and every other Yorkshireman because it contains real Yorkshire pudding. That's a fact, it does contain Yorkshire puddings. And the Yorkshire puddings are so Yorkshire they come from Doncaster, which is in South Yorkshire. I've done a couple of gigs in, in Doncaster. What a fucking town that is. There's a pub, I can't remember the name of it, but it's... It's a, it's a circular pub, it's on a roundabout somewhere, and there are big Doncaster Rovers fans, they've got all the scarves, I don't even know whether it's still there or not, I mean I'm going back a few years now, but we went, <laughs> I did the worst gig of my life there, there's a pub in Doncaster called, I think it's the Leopard, it's, that's probably gone now as well, I was so drunk at that gig, I was seeing two guitar necks, somebody recorded it, and it's even embarrassing now to listen to it, how drunk I was. I was trying to do guitar solos. Honestly, it sounded like I was strangling fucking sooty and sweep. It was really bad. And it was in that pub that it all happened. That's my abiding memory of Doncaster. And there's a, I think it's a, there's a hotel just opposite this pub. And it's a round pub from what I can remember. It's, it's circular and there's a lot of wooden fixtures inside and it's just covered in Doncaster Rovers memorabilia scarves and, and whatnot but anyway getting back to the point this is where the yorkshire puddings come from i'm going to break into yorkshire every now and again so just don't be alarmed i won't give any warning it was just going to happen all right but i saw this in the house of trembling madness when i went up to the people's republic of yorkshire and i did try the yorkshire pudding kebab that they make with the vegetables and the roast beef i've gone on about that before for a fucking cockney like me, that is a revelation. Now, nothing will top pie and mash, but that does come a close second, believe me. And I would urge any budding, enterprising youngster down in the south to open up a chain of Yorkshire pudding takeaways because they are absolutely amazing. It is a proper meal in itself. I had one of them and I couldn't eat for the whole day. That whole ball of wax cost me three pound fifty, and that was a, that was me done for the day. Now, I'm a, I know I'm a little fella, but I'm a fat bastard, and that done me. So it was really nice as well. They had horseradish in it. I'm not a massive fan of horseradish, but the beef and the veg that they done in there, and this, is, this wasn't even from the shop. This was from like a, a takeaway van. Fucking handsome. So Northerners do get something right every now and again. Not often. But they do. And I'm hoping they've got this right as well. Because if you put fucking Yorkshire puddings in fucking beer, it's not fucking cricket. But it is. It's made with real Yorkshire puddings. I've seen the photos. It's unbelievable. This brewery are actually called, well, they call it the Yorkshire Pudding Brewery. It's not really. That's just the name they've put on there for that, that beer. They are a front for the, what's called the Horsetown Brewery. And they're based in a place called Malton, which is in the People's Republic of Yorkshire. And apparently Malton is the food capital of Yorkshire. I don't know whether that's true or not, but that's what they say. And 
<laughs> I will say one thing about Yorkshire. The food up there is handsome. It is really nice. They do know how to eat up there. The beer is, mm, you know, it, the beer is okay. There is some good beer that comes out of Yorkshire, but the food, I have to say, is really good. And for all the Yanks that say, oh, the British, they eat terrible food and it's got no flavour, fuck off. Go up to Yorkshire and try some of the food up there. Try one of them takeaway Yorkshire puddings and tell me British food is boring. Have you fucking tasted the shit that they eat in America? I have. I, I've been over there three times. And don't get me wrong, some of the food was nice, but they eat some absolute dog shit. Corn dogs. You heard of them? Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get back to the beer. This is a beer from... Well, I just told I just said the Horsetown Brewery, and it intrigued me when I was up in the House of Trembling Madness, and I saw this, and I thought, I don't think I've ever seen, I mean, look, there are some proper northern beers from Yorkshire, uh, what's the name, Northern Monk do a couple, um, it, was it, is Grim Up North or something like that, and there's Yorkshire Blackout, Yorkshire Lager, from the C84 Brewery, as I say, there are some really good breweries in Yorkshire, joking aside now, I'm putting my serious hat on there, uh, Timothy Taylor, uh, the C84 Brewery, do some fantastic stuff, Th um, Thigston's do some absolutely amazing beer, the Black Sheep Brewery, I can sort of take or leave, there's a couple of beers they do, but they do a lot of fucking very mediocre beer, and don't get me started on that pineapple milkshake IPA, what the fuck is going through their mind? I don't know. I'm surprised Jeff Boycott hasn't put a fatwa on them for that one. That is a really nasty beer. I don't know what the fuck. And it's still on sale. It's not just a small batch. That's still on sale now. You can get that in supermarkets. Avoid it like the plague. Anyway, let's get back to this beer. Uh, just a quick little bit about the brewery. As I say, they're based in Malton. They're called the Horsetown Brewery. They were, I think they've been going since 2016. They took over the name from a brewery that folded it in 1998. That's Percy. What do you want? Come here. He can smell the beer. He can smell Yorkshire puddings. That's what you can do, can't you, mate? Yeah, come here. Come here. This is Percy, by the way, isn't it? This is Percy, by the way. And uh, what do you reckon, Percy? Yorkshire pudding beer, would you eat that? Do you know what he did yesterday? He nicked the cat food. He ran upstairs with a cat bowl in his mouth and I don't know whether you know, but cat food is poisonous to dogs. It contains an enzyme that they can't digest. And he threw up everywhere, it was like the exorcist. And I had to clear that up. And he did not give one shit, did you, mate? Get out of it, you. Don't try and soft soak me. I saw him eating his puke. That's how disgusting this little fucker is, isn't you, mate? Hey? You're a disgusting little git, you know that? He doesn't care. But, you know, come on. He's like one of them ventriloquist dummies. You are, aren't you? you? But what was I saying? Apart from Percy eating his own puke. Uh, yeah, this, um, this brewery, they've been going since 2016, and they do a, quite a good range of beers. They look really interesting, uh, but they've got a sort of a horse racing theme going on. Now, my old man would have loved that. He was a bookies clerk in Ireland, and when he came over here, he'd give it up, but he still loved betting, and he loved it, all, all things horse related. And I remember saying to my mum, when she was alive, I mean, both my parents are dead now, but I remember saying to my mum, do you ever think dad would ever have an affair? And she turned around to me and she said, the only thing he'd have an affair with is a fucking racehorse. <laughs> and he would he was just, it, it, if it wasn't beer, it was race or, racing. He was a typical paddy, he was. Percy, what are you looking at? You looking for an escape route? There's no escape. He's trying to soft soak me now. He thinks there's food in it for him. There ain't. I mentioned Yorkshire puddings and he come running up. Anyway, I'm waffling. Let's get on to the beer. I've had to put Percy down. Not literally. He's, he's just too heavy for me. Uh, this is a 500ml bottle. It's 3.8%. It is... I'm going to read out the, the bit from the back. Now... I can't promise I won't break into Northern. This is not a beer to make Yorkshire puddings with. It's Yorkshire pudding beer. The first and original Yorkshire pudding beer made in the foothills of North Yorkshire. 
North Yorkshire Moors. I actually went to the North Yorkshire Moors. Um, was it Ilkley? I think it was Ilkley I went to. Uh, really nice, absolutely fucking amazing place, I will say that. Uh, firstly, it tastes like Yorkshire pudding. Light, crisp, and re good. They, that's not me, they say re good. They're a weird bunch up here, aren't they? Uh, 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 what does it say? Well, I've lost my fucking place now. Then there's the fact that the real Yorkshire Pudding Company help us make a help us make it. When they're not making ale with us, they're making proper Yorkshire Yorkshires in West Yorkshire. In well Yorkshire, not West Yorkshire. It's South Yorkshire, Doncaster. There is actually Yorkshire puddings there. I fucking love Yorkshire puddings. None of this aren't Bessie bollocks. I mean the proper ones made from scratch. My mum used to make them with proper dripping. And you cannot beat Yorkshire puddings made with real dripping. And she used to make the big ones as well, where you put all the grub inside. That's proper Yorkshire puddings. None of these little Aunt Bessie bollocks. You want the big Yorkshire pudding with all the food inside it. Uh, ingredients. Malted hops. Am I going fucking blind here? My eyesight ain't that great. They said malted hops, yeast and Yorkshire puddings, milk and eggs. This contains milk and eggs. So all you vegans, this is not for you. Uh, yeah, that's about it really. Right, let's see what this tastes like. I'm looking forward to this because I fucking love Yorkshire puddings. And, as I say, it ain't a patch on pie and mash and liquor, but they do know a little bit about food up there. Now, I'm going to drink it out of a London Pride glass. That's going to wind up Jeff Boycott even more than he's already wound up. So let's see what is going on with this lot. You can just smell Yorkshire coming out. Oh, that smells really, that smells really good. Really malty. Oh, that's lovely. Very, very malty indeed. This could be a good one. Head retention looks quite good as well. Now, it's not chilled. This is about cellar temperature. It might look cold. I've taken it out of the fridge and I'll let it, I'll let it stand. But that does look like a decent pint. It doesn't look like it's... Or oh, does it? I could be wrong. No, that's, a, that's got a little bit of a haze going on. Oh, it smells really, really interesting. That's like earthy and malty. Mmm. I'm really looking forward to this. Bottoms up. Oh, that is good. That is really good. Oh, yeah. super strong malt on that. Super strong, like biscuit with a little touch of caramel malt on that. That's really nice. I'm really impressed by this. So far, that's the first mouthful. Right, there's everything in the glass. I'm going to dive in again. Oh, that's, that is superb. That is fantastic. All joking aside, that is a great beer. Regardless of the Yorkshire puddings, that is a great beer. Real big malt character on this. There's a little touch of hop character. Not a great deal though. This is all about the malt. And it's biscuit and caramel. And the classification for this, I would say, is it's like a I don't know. It's like a sort of a pale ale in the same sort of vein as the Timothy Taylor landlord. Oh, it's so good. It's really good. Mouth feel on this is superb. It's like it's just been pulled from a 
from a keg or a cask. That's really nice. Wow. That's blown me away. I was expecting this to be a bit of a novelty beer. You know, one of these like, oh yeah, I can taste the Yorkshire puddings in it. To be honest, I can't really taste much of the Yorkshire pudding in there, but the malt on this is, wow, it's really good. I'm loving it. Oh, that's so drinkable as well. Oh, and now, now there's the hot bitterness at the at the finish. Mmm. Now it's coming through. You have to take a few sups of that to get the hop character coming through. And it's quite a, I wouldn't say bitter hop, but there's a little bit of spice in it. I don't know whether it's like a challenger hop or something like that. Oh, but it's really good. Wow. I, you know, I really wasn't expecting much from this. I thought it was going to be like a, you know, just a, a novelty beer that they sell to tourists and all that. But I'll tell you something, this is not bad at all. I don't know if there's like a, there's some crystal malt on there, maybe a little bit of invert sugar on that, but it's there's a sweetness to it. There's a sweetness to the malt. And I'd like to think it's crystal malt, but even if there is invert sugar in it, I don't care. There is a really good flavor to this. And initially on the first mouthful, I thought, wow, this is all about the malt. You know, it's big sort of biscuit and caramel malt. But then a few mouthfuls in, and then you get the, the hop character come through on the arse end of it and I'm loving it and the mouthfeel is absolutely superb <clears throat> if you look at that there is a haze to it as well that's not my glass so I don't think that's bottle conditioned but there's a haze to it but it's so good I mean look look I've just downed all that in a matter of minutes it's really good it's so moorish and drinkable Mmm. Oh, that is that is superb. That's really good. Now, this brewery only brew in small batches. I think they said it's, is it 2,000 litres a week? You can really tell from that because I don't think if you were brewing on a big scale, you'd get as much flavour intensity as you're getting from that. That is superb. And it's really annoying that, that you, you'll never see this down here in the south. I mean, I got this from the House of Trembling Madness and I've had it in the fridge for a while. And the sell-by date on this is 9th of May, 2022. So yeah, just over, a, just got over a, under a year left on it. But, oh, that is such a shame it's not available down here because that would be my go-to session ale because this is superb. I'm absolutely blown away by this. I really wasn't expecting much, in all honesty. Now, you know me, I always take the piss out of Yorkshire and Yorkshire beers. I don't know why I do it. It's something there. It's there for the, having the piss taken out of them. I'm sure they take the piss out of Cockneys as well. I don't care. I love all the banter and all that. But in all seriousness now, putting all that aside, this is a fantastic beer. I'm really impressed by it. And I think the reason I'm so impressed by it is because they brew in small batches. And you can tell that they've... There's been a bit of a care taken to this, and somebody's tasted this and said, now it's good enough to go out. And it is, it is absolutely superb. Oh, it's so good. There's a lot of earth. I didn't think there was much hop character coming through on there, but the, the, the earthy notes from the aroma, now, that's really coming through, mixed with them malts. Oh, it's beautiful. That is a fantastic beer. That has absolutely blown me away. So what is the verdict on Yorkshire pudding beer? In a word, superb. I'm really impressed with that. Now, this is made with Yorkshire puddings, and it's the Yorkshire puddings that you, well, that the company, in, the Yorkshire pudding company in Doncaster can't put out for sale as Yorkshire puddings. So rather than throwing them into the landfill, which is where this fucking autofocus is gonna go if it carries on playing up, 
they said, right, well, let's do something with it. And I see this in a lot of breweries as well because the, um, oh, I can't, oh, the, is it the Welsh brewery that do that with, um, is it Marks and Spencer's bread or there's a, um, I think it might be the, is it Tiny Rebel that do it? I could be mistaken here, but there's a craft brewer who uses bread, stale bread that has gone unspent. And I think it's brilliant where you're recycling stuff rather than wasting food, that it's going into something else. And if it comes up with a product like this, I mean, that is superb. It really is. And I really wasn't expecting much out of it. I just thought I was going to be making a take the piss video and, you know, have a few digs at Yorkshire. I don't know why I do it. I just do it. No offence to the people in Yorkshire, of course. I, I've been up there. I've seen how friendly they are. I absolutely love them. There's no malice in what I'm saying or doing. So please don't take offence to it. I don't mean it with intent, all right? But this, you know, I just thought it was going to be taking the piss out of Yorkshire and Yorkshire pudding beer. But I tell you what, they have come up with an absolutely fantastic beer. And it is such a shame that it's not widely available because I think a lot of people would be converted by this. It's everything I love about British beer. It's got big, big malt character. There's a lot of hop subtle hop character, which only, for me, came through after a few mouthfuls. But it's... You, you taste it now and it's perfectly balanced. It really is good. Oh, it's lovely. And I'm gutted I didn't buy buy a few more bottles of that. You can really get them hops coming through now. Oh, it's lovely. That is superb. For me, you know what's coming, didn't you? That is a 10 out of 10. All day long. And it's going to go down as one of the best ales I've tasted this year. Now, when I'm doing my end of year top ales this is going to be in it unless i taste something that's absolutely out of this world this is definitely going to be in it because that has blown me away absolutely superb well done yorkshire pudding brewery horsetown brewery whatever you want to call yourself carry on doing stuff like that and you're on to a winner fellas well done and remember beer is working class champagne